Let's launch the IBM web browser. Basically, that's a IBM branded Mozilla web browser. It's quite old, but I can still get online with it. I don't have Flash for OS2 installed. There are some versions, but uh, they appear to be quite old. And the official support of Inotech for uh, I IBM OS2 products has ended, so it's uh, fairly hard to get one. So this is the IBM website. Let's load some website like bbc.com <coughs> just to show you how it loads websites and it might get some garbled images and stuff but it does the job. Of course I can scroll with it. So that's the web browser. That's good. And one last thing I wanted to show you is how well OS2 support DOS applications. So I have the game Star Trek 25th anniversary, 25th anniversary. So let me just pop the CD inside. <coughs> okay. Oh, um. I can also launch Microsoft Windows 3.1, but I can't get programs like Internet Explorer installed and I can't get online with it. I, I don't have uh, the network card installed and I don't know how to install it. So that's, it's called WinOS 2. It's not, it's like Windows, Windows 3.1, but it has IBM branding. So let's go into DOS. We need a full screen DOS mode. DOS full screen. And <clears throat> first let's launch the game Halloween Harry. Alien Carnage. Most of you must know it. I have sound working and basically it runs better than how DOSBox even runs it un unhacked or tinkered, tinkered with but it's a bit fast but you can see it runs fairly smooth and quite nice actually you can move around and etc. So let's quit it. And the last thing I want to show you is Star Trek running. <coughs> Trek C D. Trek C D and Star Trek. So you can see it runs pretty well with sounds and everything. One problem though is I can't seem to make this OS2 cursor go away. So this is especially problematic in the game because you can see I have like a double mouse cursor. Well, the Enterprise's primary mission is peaceful exploration. The galaxy hope. Captain Patterson reports the Republic is in position. The Republic is arming weapons of recent. Uh, 